Okay, it's officially been the three year mark and I just want to take this time in this video to explain the entire three years and how it's affected me now, what the changes are, what do I kind of regret or miss from deleting social media. In the summer of 2021, I decided after university, I was a bit like not sure what I wanted to do with my life, unsure of the direction and the path I would like to take myself in. There was a lot of uncertainty ahead and I realized that actually, do you know what, like I'm not happy at the moment, you know, I want to change, I want, I want to progress, I want to do something, you know, I'm just out in the real life world, it's not university anymore, it's not school, we have to change. I was on this kind of mindset where I have to kind of go through daily improvements to try and better myself and really take my personal development quite seriously. And one of that aspect is actually just deleting social media. I realized that I was always on my phone, meaning every time I wake up, I'd scroll, I'd scroll. The first thing I'd do when I open my eyes after I was sleeping, it was literally just to grab the phone and just to scroll on TikTok, Instagram, you know, and get these kind of instant gratification, dopamine surges. It just became a habit. You know, whenever I, was, I felt an ounce or a second of boredom, I just pick it up. As a result, I couldn't focus my mind on a specific task because my attention span was so weak. Because I couldn't focus on something for a long period of time, then I can't get any work done. I couldn't be productive. And I looked into it I was, and I saw a couple of videos on, you know, how deleting social media has helped other people. And I thought, let me do it for myself. I literally went on my phone and I didn't even remove the accounts. I just simply just deleted everything. It was difficult for the first month, I'd say, because naturally, like you've been on social media for so long, you just kind of like, oh, you're automatically grabbing your phone again. But you realize there's nothing else to do apart from maybe text, right? Or browse the web, but you weren't actually like going on Instagram, TikTok, whatever. I think it's that initial period that you just have to go through. It's probably the, the harder part, but I, I understood that actually I've got so much free time. I needed to fill the void somehow. So I did stuff like going to the gym a lot more, you know, and I took my gym a lot more seriously. I went you know, three, four, five times a week. I made a specific plan. I picked up hobbies like making YouTube videos consistently. And then eventually, like last year, for example, I took my, my nine to five working life very seriously. And I saw great benefits of just putting in a lot more hours into my work and saw opportunities arise from that. And I'd say, to be honest, like maybe social media didn't have a direct impact on it, but it certainly led to a chain reaction of situations and, and opportunities that led down the line. For example, because I put in a lot more hours. I wasn't naturally grabbing my phone, my attention span. I wouldn't say it's perfect, but I would certainly say it was better than it was two or three years ago. And I could just go into like states of deep work a bit better, right, a bit, bit more easier. Especially coming back from the pandemic where all we were doing was on our phones constantly. It's like a, um, a bunch of wires in, entangled. So you have to kind of unwind everything, especially after the pandemic. Right? So obviously it took a lot of ironing out to do, but after you've done that and you're in this kind of flow state, I would say, it's not actually deleting social media that actually led to that. Quitting social media was just a key to ignite the engine. What really happened was that there were systems being put in place, you know, going, waking up in the morning, having a nice coffee, going into work, getting that work done, being structured, coming home, going to the gym, coming back, then editing videos or working on some side hobby, uh, seeing friends in person, talking to them over the phone. All these things became a part of a routine. And, you know, once the routine is being built over time, it just becomes a flow state, like I would like to say, right? That's, that's all it is. Like, if anything, social media was just an element of distraction. Now, I do think, on the contrary, social media can be a good thing, right? It can be a great thing. And the reason I say that is that if you're a creator or if you're a, a business owner, for example, you need social media. There is no way, I'm not going to just sit here and make a video and tell you social media is bad, 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 right? There are definitely downsides to it, but I also think there are upsides to it. And you, it's just the way you use it. If you're a business owner, you need to be on it. You need to have a online presence. You want to be able to sell your products or your services and you want to be able to market everything. If you're a content creator as well, or you want to be making content, then you obviously need social media of, of one form or, or the other. If you're producing stuff on social media, right? So using it to your own advantage, then I think there's no problem. The problem only comes of excessive consumption of social media. So if you're just consuming, 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 you know, you're waking up, you're on your phone, scrolling, scrolling, hours go by, you're not being productive, right? We all know that. So it's just identifying, actually, I just need to make sure that I am aware of, 
okay, cool, I've spent this long on social media, I haven't really done anything. And the first step is to actually just cold turkey and just do a different action. It's difficult. I understand it's difficult, but once you can try and get into a framework or a system of the flow state, you know, having different things that you're actively engaged in every single day, then you won't need to use social media because yeah, right now I don't I don't feel like I need to go back on it. And it's simply because I just feel like I, I know exactly what I need to be doing each day. That's allowed me to like make social media less of a, a priority. If I get it back, hypothetically, I think, of course, it will decrease my productivity by a bit, for sure. But I feel like I've just because it's been three years of momentum, I don't, I can, and I can now see, like, listen, social media is, is, we'll leave it. Okay, cool, we'll leave it. And to be honest, one of the big things is, like, end of the day, social media companies, they have your data, right? They have your, this data is everywhere. And as, the ti- as, as we progress in this digital world, whatever, da- your data becomes quite valuable and a lot of the companies will be selling individual data and the reason they do that is because you've got a customer profile you see okay this person likes this 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 is what they're into blah blah blah. let's try and market products to that person and it's just a tool where you know end of the day you've got a profile from data you just throw ads at them and hopeful hopefully you can monetize certain products and services so you know that that's like the if you're looking at it from a company perspective but from an individual's perspective, it's just not to be super indulged in social media because in the day, if you, it can be a destroyer of your productivity and if you want something out of your life, and just make sure you're fully aware of the situations that you're in and build the frameworks. That's the number one thing I'd say. Like, you know, you might not have your dream life at the moment, which is completely fine, but find systems that would lead you to that dream life and find distractions that you can eliminate so you can get to that dream destination. Anyway, three years of social media done. Thanks for watching.